Okay, welcome back. Uh, so today we're going to do something I think is kind of exciting. Um, we're going to add some background and foreground elements. We're going to make our game actually have like a defined look to it. So we're going to go over here to the sprites and I'm going to add a new group here. So I'm going to go down to add group and I'm going to call this, um, I don't know, like environment. And then in my environment group, I'm going to create a new sprite. I'm going to call this one S underscore background. Uh, one more, create sprite, S underscore foreground. Another one, S underscore railing. So I'm going to go to my background here. I'm going to import my image. And my image is in kind of a weird spot here background. Yeah, that's the right one. All right, cool. So now I'm going to look at foreground. I'm going to import. And I want to go from the same place here. Um, sprites, foreground. There we go. And my railing. I want to go from the same place again. Sprites. And I called it metal frame here. All right, cool. So those are my three sprites. I'm going to use those three sprites to make a tile set. So I kind of already made one. I'm just going to delete this really quickly. Um, OK, on tile set, I'm going to right click and choose Create Tile Set. The tile set needs a sprite to go with it. So this first one I'm going to make with the background. And it needs to know the size. So I'm going to make this 18 by 18. Now, when you're making, like if you're trying to make these on your own, this is something that I found very annoying about Game Maker, but then I asked around and people laughed at me and were like, well, noob. Um, the left hand, upper left, has to be blank. So that's why if you look at the uh, sprites here, there's that like area next to it. And that's so that I have the blank area so that this can work as a tile set. So this tile set I'm going to call... Can I rename it? Yeah, I can rename it. I'm going to call this background. Then I'm going to make a new tile set. I'm going to call this one foreground. And I'll choose a sprite for it from environment. Oops, I did not mean to do auto tiling. And I want this to be 18 by 18. There we go. And again, you can kind of zoom in and see, even though this was offset a little bit, it's just taking up the whole thing. And then I'm going to make one more tile set. I'm going to call this tile set um, frame or railing or whatever. And I'm going to give this the railing tile set. And again, this is going to be 18 by 18. Uh, okay, cool. And just to kind of show you what this looks like. You can see how that upper left, maybe you can't see on the video, maybe it's hard to see. Um, the upper left part is uh, torn out. And that's because when it's making a tile map or a tile set, it doesn't pay attention to the upper left. All right, cool. Let's go to our rooms here really quickly, or our room. Um, I want to, OK, if I could actually see my room, that'd be good. There we go. It was weird. Um, I'm going to add a few new layers here. So I'm going to be playing around with where the instances layer is. So that means I need to play around with my code as well. Because everywhere I created something, I just did instance create layer and then used zero, which is this first layer. But I'm going to be having some stuff above and some stuff below. So I'm going to have to change that code a little bit. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to create a new tile layer. And I'm going to move this to be the background. I'm going to choose a tile set. Tile set is the background. I'm going to choose the tile I want, and I'm just going to paint this on here. So, oh, nope, sorry, I don't want that. I wanted, let's see, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So, one, two, three, four, five here, and then I wanted it to be eight wide, which goes over there, and I wanted it to be down nine. So, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, cool. And then that leaves room for buttons. So this is going to be my kind of background. 
So like there's like, you know, a gem theme, like we're mining. And then I'm going to make another layer. This layer is going to go above the instances, and this is going to use the foreground. And I'm going to choose the tile I want. And I'm going to go around here. So the background is just to kind of, so it's not drawing attention away from the gems. The foreground is lighter because it can be lighter because you're, you don't necessarily need to focus on what's on either side. Candy Crush does this thing where it blurs the background so that it's not super noticeable. Um, and then I wanted three for my top UI. Okay, cool. And let's actually rename these layers here. Um, rename layer. This is going to be foreground. And this is going to be background. Oh. oh, it's not unique within room. Okay. Uh, let's call this background tile. And then I'm going to make another one. This one needs to sit on top of the foreground. And I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call this one frame. And so this uses a tile set. This uses the frame. And now I'm going to zoom in here so that I can see my frame better. Because this time I actually have to worry about which of these tiles I'm selecting. Because I'm using this to frame my board. So I'm going to choose this upper left one. Put that right there. Upper right. Lower right. Lower left. And then let's put the frame down like that. Let's go to the other side, like that, and like that, and then let's do, let's do all the way across here and not go somewhere else. All right, cool. So this kind of looks already kind of like a Super Nintendo game, which is totally the look I was going for. That's totally not accidental. Ha uh ha -huh. ha. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to continue this frame up here. I'm going to have it outline my UI. So I'm going to go three over. And then, yeah, for now I'm just going to do this. And then to have my UI kind of stand out too, I'm going to make <laughs> yet another layer. Um, I'm going to rename this UI background. The reason I'm doing this on a separate layer from there is I want my gems to slide in and I want them to be behind everything so that they're kind of appearing here. So it looks like they're falling down from the top, more similar to what Candy Crush does. This needs to be underneath the frame though. And this is gonna use this tile set. And I'm just gonna paint it on just like this. All right, cool. Nice, all right. So, I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna have some issues right now because layer zero is this frame. That's not where I want to be creating my tiles. So let me get rid of some stuff on here. Bring that over, bring that over. Um, close these down. I want to look at my game manager. I wanna go into the create event. Now, instance create layer is the command that you use to create something. Uh, I can get rid of this find and replace. Instance create layer is the command that you use to create something. Um, y by default, the instance layer is on top. However, the instance layer isn't on top anymore. So I could reference the number it's on, or even better, I could just reference the layer by its name. Instances. So I'm going to copy this because I'm lazy. And don't need to create any more dots here because that's just changing the sprites. I do need to go to where I refill and change this zero to instances. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna save this and let's hit play. And let's see if I made any errors. It's incredibly possible I did. Wow, okay. That looks so much better, like with the shines and everything. 
when we start adding effects or bombs and stuff, this is, I'm kind of excited about this now. This is pretty cool. Um, you, you need to decide that you're matched. That was weird. I wasn't reading that one. It's weird too. Huh. Okay, well, next time it looks like it's going to be a bug fix episode because I got a few bugs I got to fix. Um, well, actually, it's going to be even better than that because we're going to switch to a different kind of architecture than what we're currently using. We're going to start using uh, a two-dimensional array to store our pieces instead of just having them detect where things are. We'll be good. All right. So uh, thank you for following along. I will have a new video pretty soon, probably within the next day or two. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. You can follow me on Twitter to find out when I post my next video. You can join my Discord, where I chat pretty much every day. And yeah, have yourself a wonderful day.